One of the things that I like with my oatmeal is honey. Honey is a very natural food product that helps kick in your immune system, tastes good, sweetens things. So I got these free. I won't tell you the name of the place that sells coffee around the world. They're based out of Seattle and they have a new gun carry law where nobody asks and nobody says no. But you know, when you go in there you ask them folks, them baristas, hey man, I've got some uh, coffee and I like honey in it and I'm going camping and I happen to have a bunch of that. Would you mind hooking me up? And sure enough, those folks will hook you up. So honey is expensive. And here I got it for nothing. If you like tea occasionally, all of these little tea bags here will come in pretty handy. Cold, wet, rainy day. You're miserable, you're tired. It's not really time to eat. You want a cup of tea, fire it up the old stove and have one. And of course, if you're an old fart like me, you gotta have your coffee. And I mean, you gotta have your coffee. I happen to like Starbucks a lot, but just about any coffee will do when I need that cup of coffee. I can drink it black, or I can drink it with sugar and cream. Actually, I prefer it that way, with a little shot of Irish, Irish cream, but unfortunately, they haven't made a packet like this yet of Irish cream. When they do, I'm probably gonna be their biggest customer. Again, eBay, a lot of 20 non-dairy creamers and a lot of 20 sugar package, six bucks. You can't buy them in the uh, grocery store for that in packs unless you're buying you know, a pack or a box of 100 and salt and pepper. Wow, got that free too. You can see the name there. After you've been out there for a few days humping your pack, you're going to lose weight every day from the stuff that you consume. However, there's going to be times you're going to want one of these little power shots. They will come in handy, trust me. I've been out there humping and humping away with this heavy pack and pop one of them babies and it's like doing 10 cups of coffee all at once and you're going down the road. And that comes in handy when you're trying to stay tactical and you don't have time to stop. All in all, you can spend your money. You can buy all MREs if you wanted to or all freeze-dried food or all this pre-packaged food from the grocery store. Mix it up. I wrap everything individually. Trust me when I tell you it's going to be an hour job or more putting all of this back to where I had it in the little bags in the box over there. But it all fits minus the MREs in the two white bags, double bags actually, to keep it dry. As you can see most everything already has it plastic around it like the MRE stuff it's made to endure however if you get this soup wet or some of the uh, sugar stuff well you're SOL so I double bag everything as you can see here and I mark it marked oatmeal initially my food supply weighed about 15 pounds. I've added a few things. Right now it's hitting right about 18 and a half, almost 19 pounds. But you know that's a small price to pay when you're hungry. For me personally there are three people in my family. We each will be carrying the appropriate and equal amount of food. That way if one of us gets lost or something happens to us the other two won't go starving to death. For the majority of survivalists, they're married or they have girlfriends or family or whatever. Don't make your bug out bag, especially a food supply, just for one person. This bag, or rather this food supply, will last me alone 30 days. Actually longer if I skip a meal here and there. However, with three people it's only going to last 10 days. These three MRE items cost me a total of about four dollars, actually less I believe. We have the MRE wheat snack bread and it tastes just like wheat bread. 
there's two different versions. One is kind of toasted, and the other one tastes like regular bread, looks like it. And of course, the peanut butter and blackberry jam, or apple jelly, which I kind of like. This right here will fill you up. You add something else out of this food mix to it, like the oatmeal or the power bar or the instant soup, and you've got a good meal that'll give your body the fuel that it needs. May not necessarily fill you up like you just walked out of a uh, diner or something, but you'll have the energy to continue your bug out. These MRE crackers, I got them off of eBay. They weigh less than a pack of AAA batteries. There's two huge crackers in there. Some people call it pilot bread up here. You can buy them loaves of pilot bread, which is basically MRE crackers. Again, if you make it the soup, what I do is I take one of these soups. Since there's two crackers in here, I put one of the cracker in my soup. It helps thicken it up. And then I use a peanut butter or a jelly or maybe even the honey to put on the remaining cracker. Some cappuccino. One of the 90 hits of coffee that I have over here. Or the tea. And I've got a meal that will take care of whatever hunger pangs I'm having at the time. Now the fact is you don't have to carry all of this. Whatever your destination is, your safe area, your retreat, wherever you're going. Try to determine how long it will take you based on how far it is and what threats you will perceive. I can take half of this stuff right here, put it in five gallon buckets or PVC pipes or even old surplus army ammo cans and bury it along my intended route. Hell, I can bury it in my backyard. No one will ever know it's there but me and when I need it, it's there. That's the secret. Don't get bogged down carrying a bunch of stuff. Just carry the stuff that you need to get to your safe area. Here's breakfast. Oatmeal, coffee, immune C or emergency honey for the oatmeal, creamer, sugar, peanut butter, wheat snack bread. It's not bacon, eggs, misses, and gravy, but when you're hungry in the morning, that'll take care of it. Here's lunch. A cup of soup, power bar, some organic raspberry tea, crackers, and apple jelly. Here's a quick dinner. Instant mashed potatoes, pack of chicken chunks, and some MRE orange powder. Add whatever kind of flavored powder you want, tea, coffee, whatever you got. This is enough to fill me up. The meat can eat right out of the pack because all you have to do is heat it up. Let's take some water here. Now I can substitute freeze-dried meal for my breakfast pack. And it'll make even for a better filling breakfast. But as you can see, there's enough food here that for myself personally I can get by for a month or more. Probably more like six weeks. I know that might be pushing it. But the fact is, if I don't eat this today, and then two days later I save another one, three days later I don't eat this, I've just added one more meal, one more day.